It loves me. It loves me not. Hey, Rebecca. What you doing? Oh, uh, I just wanted to see if my love for Duncan's pumpkin iced coffee is um, mutual. It loves me. I'm so happy for you guys. Jealous? Fall in love with fall flavors at Duncan with any size $2 iced coffee from 2 to 6 p.m. Try any of our delicious flavors like maple, pecan, or pumpkin. America runs on Duncan. It loves me. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Blog Talk Radio. My heart keeps keeping the beat. You're not close enough, so that space between you and me, let's lose it. The way you're dancing, swaying to the music, girl, that body and how you move it. Every time you cross my mind, girl, I lose it. Alexa, play the Country Heat playlist. Okay. With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need. Get tens of millions of songs. Download the Amazon Music app today. What in the world is going on in the tutoring industry? Do you wonder how to expand your tutoring business? Are you ready to take your tutoring business online? Are you looking to become a better tutor? Get ready for the Tutor Outreach Radio Show, hosted by Dr. Alicia Alice Holland. This globally syndicated radio show is empowering you to move forward with your tutoring goals to manifest your dreams of building a successful tutoring practice. Coming to you live on Blog Talk Radio, this hit show is tailor-made to help tutors and tutor business owners worldwide. Dr. Elise brings her knowledge, experience, and sense of humor to each show while introducing you to guests from all over the world who are experts in the fields of tutoring, coaching, education, and leadership. Call in with your questions or share some of your own experiences in academia. The Tutor Outreach Radio Show starts now. Here is your host, Dr. Elise. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tutor Outreach Radio Show. My name is Dr. Elisa Holland, but people around the world call me Dr. Elise. I am also professionally known by my former name, Dr. Elisa Holland Johnson, and I'm a mom, real estate agent, thought leader, international intuitive life coach, researcher, and talk show personality. Through the Tutor Outreach Group, which can be found at www.thetutoroutreach.com, I help tutors and tutor business owners build heart-centered global learning organizations to serve humanity, whether it is in the local community, face-to-face, or online, in the field of education. As America's number one tutor business training company, the Tutor Outreach Group is a professional organization for tutors, teachers, college students, and other small business professionals who want to start either a home-based tutoring business or tutoring company, get clients to grow their tutoring business, improve their tutoring repertoire, gain insight into leading and hiring for a global learning organization, strategically grow their tutoring business based upon their own life purpose. The Tutor Outreach Group provides premium resources and networking opportunities throughout the year. And, of course, I am available for group coaching through one of my tutoring mastermind groups in the USA or Canada. Stay with us for the next hour and let us help you experience what is going on in the tutoring industry and just overall pearls of wisdom and intuitive insights as it relates to you on your tutoring journey. Each fourth Tuesday of every month, we will have our regular show with special guests from around the world or I present tutoring strategies, tips, pearls of wisdom, and intuitive insights to help you on your tutoring journey at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Blog Talk Radio. Whether you're a regular listener, long-time listener, or you just found out about the Tutor Outreach Radio Show, we are so glad that you are here with us. I'm very excited to take some of your calls for free tutoring advice or just to answer your life or academic questions, you can call into the show on 646-668-2562. Send us a private message in our chat room. Give us your name and in the area code you are calling from and what you want to speak about so we can make sure we address any of your calls. 
Today, we have Letitia Jordan, tutor business coach and serial tutor business owner, here with us, who will be sharing ideas with us about how to start an online math tutoring business and just share overall pearls of wisdom and advice for tutors on what it takes to build a learning organization that focuses on community rather than competition. So I met Letitia Jordan in an online tutoring group of several years ago. I have yet to meet her in person, but I am extremely honored to have her here on our Tutor Outreach Radio Show. She is someone who is very passionate about making sure that students and families in the community, as well as fellow tutors and tutor business owners, have what it is that they need. She makes sure that they believe in themselves and go far. And, guys, from the bottom of my heart, I am just so grateful that she agreed to be on our show today. Before we get into the rest of the show, let me just share with you a little bit about Mrs. Jordan. Mrs. Letitia Jordan is an innovator in the tutoring industry and field of education. Known as the education guru, Letitia has worked in several capacities in the field of education from adjunct professor to dean of education to tutor and now tutor business owner. Letitia has authored 20 workbooks and textbooks and loves to see and help others learn. Letitia started My Chilo's Learning Center in 2005 because she wanted to provide a place for students to receive quality tutoring services that would help students succeed in school and reach their greatest potential. After working in the field of education for so many years, she became aware of two things. Parents want nothing but the best for their children as far as academics are concerned, and they want someone to assist them who will provide them with a caring yet disciplined environment. Mrs. Jordan is a 2008, 2009, and 2010 Nashville Emerging Leader Award finalist. Sometimes Nashville Emerging Leader Award is known as the Nella Award and a member of the Young Leaders Council. In 2013, she received the opportunity to purchase a second tutoring company called Nashville Learning Center, now Stepping Stones Tutoring Center. She loves to learn, and she is working on making her tutoring centers the best supplemental education provider available to the residents of the Nashville metropolitan area as well as around the world. Both of her learning centers are members of our parent company and educational consulting firm called Elevate Instruction. Mrs. Jordan is also the founder of the Black-Owned Tutoring Business Group in which she provides a space for Black-Owned tutoring businesses learning centers to come together and discuss issues, concerns, ideas in the tutoring industry. Mrs. Jordan draws on 24 years of experience and will give anyone interested in entering the tutoring industry the recipe they need to become a leader in the field. So on that note, guys, you know, we have to welcome... Mrs. Letitia Jordan to the Tutor Outreach Radio Show. Thank you. Hello, Professor Jordan. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Just fine. How's the weather? Today is actually a good day. Nice and warm. (laughs) Where are you located? I am in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, okay. Yes, today I am actually in Los Angeles, California, and the weather is fabulous. I'm sure it is. (laughs) So, you know, we always ask each of our guests, why did you get into the tutoring industry? 
How did you get started with tutoring others and coaching tutors? Oh, it looks like we have dropped Letitia. Let's go to a commercial break, guys. We will return shortly. In today's global economy, tutoring is beginning to get the respect and recognition it deserves. Tutoring can be a rewarding field for stay-at-home moms, retired workers, and people with technical skills. Due to budget cuts, high teacher-student ratios, and the No Child Left Behind NCLB Act, it's also an area that is booming for classroom teachers, whether they want to try tutoring in the classroom or start their own private tutoring practice. With these type of tutoring opportunities, it is crucial to have a blueprint to follow so that individuals can start out with good information and build a reputation as an educator that delivers data-driven results. In the number one source for tutors and tutor business owners, Dr. Holland Johnson's Becoming a Better Tutor, a data-driven approach to tutoring, Tutor Consultant, Dr. Holland delivers her field-tested advice so that you can find your tutoring niche and predict your chances for success as a tutor, market your tutoring practice to attract clients, apply the Dr. Holland Johnson's tutoring framework for effective tutoring sessions, apply the Dr. Holland Johnson's in-class tutoring method, conduct tutoring consultations and master tutoring interviews, determine the type of tutor in which you'll need to be for clients. Accurately track your client's progress, acquire know-how for starting and managing your tutoring practice, and dozens of other strategies you will need to be successful in the tutoring industry. Take a data-driven approach to either tutoring in the classroom or building your tutoring practice to help your clients. By putting new strategies and proven methods in your toolkit, you'll quickly find the path that leads to becoming a better tutor. You can get your copy of Dr. Holland Johnson's Becoming a Better Tutor, a data-driven approach to tutoring, on Amazon.com or submit your book order at orders at iglobaleducation.com. We're back on the Tutor Outreach Radio Show with Dr. Elise and special guest, Mrs. Letitia Jordan. We had technical difficulties, so let Miss Letitia Jordan, are you on the call? I am. Yay! Yeah. Welcome back. Okay. okay, great. The question that I had asked earlier was, why did you get into the tutoring industry? How did you get started with tutoring others and coaching tutors? So I started out with tutoring um, as a work study student in my uh, mathematics department as an undergrad. Um, mm-hmm. I was given work study and they said, hey, we want you to tutor. And I was like, oh, this is an easy job. Are you going to pay me for it? No problem. <laughs> um, and after three weeks, they said, Letitia, you are on a scholarship. You cannot have work study. And I said, oh, okay, well, what do you want me to do? I have these students who are coming to me, and I had one who was coming on a regular basis. And they said, you're just going to have to stop tutoring. And I said, okay. And I told the student, and she and I and her parents kind of worked out an agreement so that I could continue to help her. And that's kind of when I discovered that education was something that I may have an inkling for. Um, and I continued working um, as a tutor for that particular student and then went on to work for um, some other tutoring companies uh, throughout my college matriculation. So it wasn't until I moved back to Nashville that I decided that I wanted to open a tutoring company, Um, and it was during the SES craze, um, and I decided to become a provider for my school district. And it was the best experience being able to help low-income students whose parents were not necessarily able to afford tutoring to succeed in school um, academically. So that's kind of how I got started with the tutoring. Now, with the um, coaching, I decided one day that I just didn't know enough people who looked like me who were working in the industry as business owners. So Mm -hmm. I wanted to create a place, um, a space for us to come together and just express our concerns as business owners, how we could help each other to grow as business owners. So I created a group on Facebook, and it has grown um, to include tutors from all over the uh, country, actually all over the world. We have some tutors that are overseas as well, and 
we just come together and kind of give each other advice and uh, coach through some of the issues that we see come up in our tutoring businesses, and it, it's just been a joy to do so. Well, and what's the name of that group again? I know I shared it out, but we can never say it, you know, we never can say it enough. So what is the name of that group on Facebook again? So on Facebook, that group is the Black-Owned Tutoring Group. Okay, Black -owned okay. Black-Owned Tutoring Business Group. Excuse me, Black-Owned Tutoring Business Group. Group. Yes. Okay. So uh, that's an interesting start. So it sounds like, you know, do you tutor K through 12, or what communities do you currently serve at your tutoring company? So we are tutoring students from pre-K all the way to adult. And I say and, that because um, about seven years ago, um, we had a parent who just wanted some help to kind of push her child into the right direction as an early ed situation. So we started with her, and actually when she started kindergarten, she was reading at a third grade level, and we really, really focused on her reading because her mother was a math teacher. So we focused more on her reading to make sure she was prepared. So we start as early as pre-K, and we go all the way to adult. We have a lot of college students that we work with as well. Um and is this every subject or certain subjects? So we focus on mathematics, reading and language arts. Um, some sciences, usually those that are more analytical based, like physics and chemistry, um, but we do have a biology tutor that works with us as well. So we're kind of open when it comes to subjects because we do have other tutors that work within the company that can tutor in other subjects. My specialty is mathematics. That's what I love. But we do have <laughs> tutors that work with other subjects. Okay. We, you never know who is listening in, so we always like to make sure we ask, you know, are you just specialized in one area or if you – work in other areas, so thank you so much for providing that information. What trend do you currently see in the online tutoring market for mathematics? So as far as online tutoring is concerned, I really do that believe that that is the wave of the future um, for mm -hmm. several reasons. One, it is so convenient. I have students who have logged on to tutoring while they're sitting in the car and their sibling is playing a soccer game. Like, it is just so convenient <laughs> because it can be done anywhere at any time. So I think that um, especially the way that our society is set up now, that mm -hmm. convenience is what parents need. Um, mm -hmm. As far as mathematics is concerned, um, the, the big ordeal with mathematics and why people tend to come to receive tutoring in mathematics is not because they cannot do it. It is mm -hmm. because they have created this anxiety within themselves and literally trained themselves to believe that they cannot do it. So everyone is not capable of teaching math to the point where the student understands it. You can know math all day and all night and, and not be able to get that. And because of the demographic that I'm used to working with, which is typically – a lower-income student, uh, well, where I started was a lower-income student or parents who are non-traditional, adults who are non-traditional student, college students, I've been able to kind of learn how to teach in a way that anyone can understand math. So I think that just as, as, as much as online tutoring is growing, um, mm -hmm. it's growing for every subject, and that's inclusive of mathematics it's going to continue to grow. We have seen this industry go from, you know, your local tutor coming into your home or you going to visit a local tutor to now people are receiving tutoring all across the world. We tutor students right now all across the United States and are looking to expand internationally over the next year, and it's all because online tutoring makes it convenient for anyone, the tutor as well as the QT. Wow, that's fabulous. So, you know, you may want to touch on how how convenient the virtual learning environment is with this question. I know that your Stepping Stone Tutoring Company and, and Academy offers the online tutoring here. How could students learn in mathematics or any other subject in an online tutoring environment? 
how is that helpful? Um, not every online tutoring experience is the same. You know, there are some that, you know, are just mobile tutoring. There are some that have an actual secured online classroom that records. It has a, a um, whiteboard in there. How does it help students at your particular center? So for us, the online tutoring environment that we utilize is no different from our on-site or face. The only difference is the tutor is in front of their computer and the child or device. It could be a tablet. It could be a phone. And the child is in front of theirs. That is the only difference. We do have a secure classroom that our students enter. Um, all of our sessions are recorded, so if parents want to go back and review any information or if the child forgets how to do something, they can always go back and view that. Um, we do have a whiteboard that the students as well as the tutor have access to. We're able to share documents. We can share our screens. Um, I mean, it's just it's like being in the classroom, but you're not in a classroom. Um, so the only difference is you physically cannot touch one another. But outside of that, the online environment that we utilize is amazing. Um, I yeah. tell parents all the time, it's not just for convenience. For me personally and for our business, um, the online environment also provides you with the ability to receive tutoring at a less expensive rate because you're not having to have someone travel to you in order to receive the services. But outside of being able to physically touch one another, there is absolutely no difference in the online environment. And the thing that I like and I think is a benefit is the ability to record the session because if you come to me and I tutor you, once you leave, if you forget something, you don't have anything to refer to. But if you are online and we have an online session and you forget something, you can go into my student portal and click on your session and there's all the information that we went over. See each other face-to-face. -face. We talk to each other. So it's just, to me, it's just a, a great experience. And it just takes people giving it that one chance to understand it and to have a session. And they realize that it's not, it's not what they're thinking. I think a lot of times people think you're going to be on a phone call and you're just going to talk them through something. No. It's not that at all. There is an actual classroom that the student enters, and they're able to provide um, to be provided with a whiteboard and share screens and, and share documents and, and see their tutor. So it, it, it's very convenient. And videos, too? Videos, too. Everything. Oh, my it's gosh. So, that's fabulous. <laughs> yes. It's, it's a great thing. I mean, I'm still – you know, I started my online academy um, in September. So we started training students. Um, our typical student is a homeschool student in, in uh, upper-level mathematics, starting at pre-algebra. So I'm still learning the ins and outs of everything that our system has to offer, but it's so much detail. And, and to me, it's just, I, I don't know, I, I worked on uh, – a degree online, so I know how it is to be in an online environment and not have that face-to-face -face interaction, but being able to see my students, it just makes it so much better. Wow. I even like the fact that you just shared with us that students are able to go back and look at their sessions if they get stuck. I mean, you can't even do that in a live class. Once the class is over, it's over. <laughs> it's over. You don't have the information. If you forget something, you just forgot it. I mean, it, it really is a good experience. Okay. Well, thank you so much for sharing that information with us. So, you know, you did talk about your academy. I have a question for you later in the interview here to share more about that because that sounds like a, a, another exciting opportunity. Okay. So you talked about having the secured online classroom, but, you know, given your organizational leadership background, from an organizational standpoint, um, standpoint what safety measures would you recommend for online tutoring companies or online tutors to have in place? So for online tutoring companies and online tutors, I think the first thing you need to do, especially as a company, is make sure that you background check all of your tutors, um, not just a local background check. Um, you want to do a national background check because you want to make sure that you are providing your clients with the very best, tutors that you can. Um, 
as a company, I do recommend that you use a secured network um, and that you use a platform that is secure as well. As an individual tutor, if you're doing this on your own outside of the secure network and a secure platform, you want to make sure that you're meeting over video. And even as a parent, if the tutor refuses to meet over video, they are probably not the tutor for you because you may not be getting what you think. So you want to try and uh, meet over video. Now, we do have technical issues that pop up. It shouldn't be a consistent thing. They should be able to meet you over video so you know who you're dealing with. And, again, I would say find a platform in which you can record your sessions because it does provide you with a benefit, an extra incentive uh, for the students as well. Outside of that, um, mm -hmm. as a protection for your company, just make sure that you're insured properly. Love and for it. me, yeah, <laughs> for me being an SES provider, we had to have, uh, which was a providing for the state of Tennessee, um, we had to have a huge insurance policy. We just kind of left that in place <laughs> um, and added protection on the online environment as well. Um, mm -hmm. So I would say just make sure you're insured properly. Thank you so much. That is very important. And the fact that you have the secured online classroom with the recording feature, we know insurance companies love that. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so what advice would you offer to tutor business owners who are interested in starting an online tutoring program? Um, so the first thing I would say is just kind of research platforms and um, try them out. You know, most of the platforms will allow you to do like a 30-day trial. Try them out. You can try them out on family just to see how they work. You're able to uh, quickly learn the ins and outs of them um, and then decide on what is going to work best for you as well as who you are trying to attract as clients or students. Um, mm -hmm. So that would be the very first thing I would do, just kind of try them out and see what works for you. But outside of that, um, you have to be prepared to promote yourself a lot. And so being from um, the educational side, I was mm -hmm. never one who uh, was big on the, the marketing and advertising side of the business. Um, mm -hmm. When I started out as a provider for the state, my, my clients were pretty much handed to me. Um, so going from that aspect, to having to now promote myself has been the biggest challenge for me. But I would mm -hmm. say utilize social media, your website. Um, most of my clients, honestly, are word of mouth. It's just someone saying, hey, you know, if you're having difficulty, this is the person to call. So mm -hmm. you have to make sure that you're getting yourself out there. Um, but in that online environment, just be cautious of uh, who you accept as well. Every client is not your client. I always tell people in, when I'm coaching them, all money is not good money. Um, Say it again, please. <laughs> it's not, all money is not good money. And you'll find, in, especially in our industry, um, there is a lot of scams that are ran from people who are overseas. Uh, for instance, I sent you this check, and they'll send you a check in the mail, and it's like $5,000 for a hundred tutoring sessions or fifty tutoring sessions, and it's it's an astronomical amount that's way over what you would normally charge. And then they come back with, "Well, can you West cash the check and Western Union me X amount of dollars back? I made a mistake." So you just have to be cautious with whom you're dealing with, and that's why I say, even when you're doing your consultation, um, because you don't know these people, you're doing it in an online environment. Do it in your classroom so you can record it you know who you're dealing with. If you just someone just says, I'm going to send you a check, tell me how much these sessions are going to cost, and you give them a, an invoice and then they send you way above what you've invoiced them for, then it's probably a scam. So you just have to be very cautious with who you're dealing with. And even with my consultations, I do everything in my classroom so it can be recorded, so I know who I'm talking with, so I know what the child looks like when it's time for the session, I know what the parents look like, there's no um, there's no gray area. It's all open, and and we can we they know me, I know them, and we're able to move forward. And even if another tutor will be working with them, then all of us get on the first consultation to make sure that 
it's going to be a good fit and it works together. Um, the last thing I would say as far as online tutoring programs, just be patient because you have you have that um, that area in which you have to kind of train your client on how to use your system. I create a video that makes it very simple. They can work through it. Most of my clients don't have any issues, and, and honestly, most of the time the kids don't have the issues. It's the parents that <laughs> have the issues. Most of the time, the kids are okay because they know technology like the back of their hands. But you just have to be patient when it comes to when it comes to logging on and getting into your environment or your platform. Just be patient with your client those first couple of times, and and just try and work through the the kinks. Um, you'll see that things will start to arise, and just take a note of it because if it happens to one, it may happen to another. Create a little FAQ session for your uh, parent or student to refer to if those issues arise. But I would say those are the key points that I have for someone who's interested in starting an online tutoring program. And I will say this. I had my online classroom for three years before I even started teaching a class because I was so fearful of opening the academy. Now, I was tutoring online, but I wasn't mm -hmm. sure about teaching actual courses online to homeschool students. And I had a, a business coach who basically I told her I was interested in it, and she put out this big promotion that I was going to be teaching online, and my classes were starting in September, and it was kind of a fly or die situation. Like I had to get it up and running because she had promoted it uh, to her following that I was going to do it. And, you know, the homeschool environment is a very small environment, especially as an African-American community, it's a very small environment. So once your information is out there, you just have to do it. So mm -hmm. I was kind of pushed into it um, This when I set up these courses this time. But I will say it has been the best experience. My students are great. We have a great time uh, in our classes. I know sometimes the parents think they are not in class because we are laughing and having a good time. <laughs> but it's just, for me, it's enjoyable to see them understand math. It is just a, a great joy for me. I love it. Wow. Professor, yes, Professor Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes God has a way of putting people in our lives to push us towards our destiny and, you know, this is you. This is your destiny. This is what you need to be doing to help move the tutoring industry forward. You are one of the pioneers. Um, I've been watching you over the years, and, you know, just to see how you have, you know, taken your tutoring company and have advanced. And what I like about it, Professor Jordan, is that you're willing, ready, and able to collaborate with others. That's a beautiful thing. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I look at it like this. This industry is a multi-billion, with a B, billion dollars. Yes. So there is enough students out there for anyone who wants to enter the field to do so. And I think if you're passionate about it and it's something that you really do love, which I have found with my group members, they really do love educating other people then I think that you should provide that assistance um, and, and help coach them to the level that, that they need to get to. I tell my, my group members all the time, they don't necessarily always like hearing it, but I tell them all the time, outside of just the service that you provide, your knowledge is a product. And so you mm -hmm. have to use that product to promote your business even more. And, and I push mm -hmm. and push and push them on products. Um, mm -hmm. But I think that that is just a have. As a tutor, we think, oh, I offer a service. I'm going to service my students. But the information that's in your head that you give out to students all the time, you may not be able to reach every single student. So why not put it in a method where they can have it and hold it in their hand and use it in other aspects? And so I've even done that myself. Outside of workbooks and textbooks, I'm working on a, a set of uh, A to Z guides, and it's the A to Z, 26 steps of how to study, how to take notes, how to study for tests, um, how to be organized, things that they don't teach you in school but you really need to know in order to be successful in school. So 
you know, I think that you just have to really take the time to help others. And the more that you help others, the more you grow. And I've experienced that personally. Wow, what a testimony. It's all about the flow of the heart. (laughs) Absolutely, absolutely. So how can learning organizations request you to tutor in their organization or design math programs for them? Oh, that's simple. All it takes is a phone call, an email, just send me a message. So let me just give out some information here. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, you can call our uh, tutoring center at 615-50-6652. I can be found on Facebook um, at Stepping Stones Tutoring Center, on Twitter at underscore Stepping Stone T. Um, our website is Stepping Stone tc.com and my email address is info at steppingstonestc.com so any of those methods I can be reached at now personally for Letitia Jordan you can also reach me on Facebook at Letitia L-A-T-I-S-H-I-A Jordan J-O-R-D-A-N that's to spell out that first name because my mom decided she wanted to make it a little Jazzy and put that extra I in there and it confuses people. So Letitia <laughs> Jordan on <laughs> it confuses people. Letitia Jordan on Facebook um, as well. And just send me a message. You can send me a message through Facebook. You can send me a direct message through Twitter. You can call or email me. I will be glad to get back with you and um, help to uh, develop a, a plan for a math program or any type of program uh, that is academically found for an organization. All right. We will definitely let people know about your services and refer people out because, you know, it's all about making sure that uh, we refer people to quality tutoring services, and obviously you guys are doing that. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. So is there anything else you would like to share with us about what you're doing in the tutoring and education industry? Are you available for speaking engagements in the community as well? Yes. So um, I have several things going on right now, and I'm so excited about, uh, you know, you said something earlier that this was was, um, God's plan for me, and I'm so excited as to where he has me right now. I had taken a slight hiatus from um, really promoting myself and my business because I uh, had a had a baby last year, the end of the year in December. Um, so my daughter is now 10 months, and about two months ago, maybe three months ago, right before school started, I said, you know what, it's time for me to get moving again, been at home with you and spend enough time, you know, getting to know you and motherhood and all of that. And so um, God just started placing things in my path um, that that I needed to take care of and I needed to do. Outside of continuing to grow uh, my tutoring company, again, I started uh, Seven Stone Tutoring Center Academy or SSTC Academy. It is an online environment where currently we are offering mathematics courses. Um, we're offering pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, and Integrated Math 1, 2, and 3. Those are our current courses. We will be adding courses in the very near future, one of which is an ACT prep. Um, And then we're also adding some developmental courses for adults who are planning to return to college. Um, I know here in the Nashville area um, it's actually free for everyone to go and receive a two-year degree. Um, in the state of Tennessee, they just made that a law last year. And so we have a lot of people who are coming out of those industrial-type jobs and returning to school. So we're going to teach some developmental courses where you can take our course, go into the um, community college environment, and take a CLEP exam and CLEP out of those developmental courses so that you don't have to pay um, or devote a lot of your uh financial aid to taking those developmental courses. And I know in some states, um, 
at some schools, the developmental courses are not covered by financial aid, and you have to pay for those out of pocket. So we're offering a least expensive way for you to get that information, even if you just want to kind of get your your feet wet before going back to school and get comfortable with the learning environment again, then you could take one of our courses. And so we're starting with the developmental math course. We will add a reading and a language art and writing course as well over the next year. So that academy is not just for homeschool students. It is actually for anyone who wants to learn additional information um, and, again, our focus for adults will be those in developmental courses right away. Um, we have an author that's coming in, and she'll teach a course on how to write um, a novel. So it will be different courses within that academy. But starting out, we are focusing on our homeschool students. And I will say this, um, I believe that one of the reasons why I became so interested in mathematics is because my foundation of math was well established by teachers who looked like me. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we're trying to make sure that um, as black and brown children, you, you do see teachers in classes like just like math courses that look like you. And that's another right. reason why I decided to do the academy because, I, you know, I have a niece and a nephew, and I think my nephew, my nephew just graduated from high school. He's now in his first year of college, and I believe he had, maybe five African-American teachers over his entire matriculation through school. You know, he just didn't see those teachers in his learning environment, Um, whereas my experience was different. When I got to my pre-algebra, algebra algebra one and algebra two courses, I had African-American teachers, and I believe that is the reason why, one, I got such a great foundation, but two, I also developed a love for math because it was amazing to me to have these women who looked like me, and they were so smart, and they knew right. numbers. Now, if you right. ask me to read a book, it's not that I can't <laughs> do it. It's not what I like to do. I don't like to write. Um, I, I, you know, am an academically sound person, but it's just not what I like to do. I love numbers, and I believe they gave me that love, helped to give me that love for numbers because it was someone who looked like me. So, Again, it's an experience that um, you won't receive anywhere else because I do love math. Like, I am passionate about math, and it is my goal to get every student that I have to have that aha moment because, to me, it's the greatest student in the world. That's it. Well, we will be in touch because we definitely Mm -hmm. want to spread the word about what you're doing um, I will let my team know um, to reach out to you to gain more information so that we can drive people your way. But we okay. are at a point now to where they're telling me it's time for a break. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. It's been a pleasure having you on the radio show here and, you know, just continue to keep up the great work. And if there's anything that the Tutor Outreach group can do to help you and help other people at your organization, then just let us know. Thank you so much, and thank you for this opportunity. It's been wonderful. You're welcome, Professor Jordan. (laughs) (laughs) This is Dr. Elise with Professor Letitia Jordan. We're going on a quick break, and when we return, I will share with you some messages from the spirit and intuitive insights from the angels Stay tuned. Till the tears run down from my eyes, Lord, somebody, ooh, somebody, can anybody find me? Somebody to love. Alexa, play hits from Queen. Okay. With Amazon Music, a voice is all you need. Get tens of millions of songs. Download the Amazon Music app today. What is intellectual property? It's something that you will have to protect when it comes to your learning organization. Innovation and creativity is definitely valued amongst humanity and should be protected. As a result, tutors need a blueprint to follow so that they will do exactly what needs to be done to protect their work and trade secrets for their learning organization. In the number one source for tutors and tutor business owners, Dr. Holland's Expanding Your Tutoring Business Series. 
tutor consultant, Dr. Holland delivers her field-tested advice so that you can determine what types of intellectual property that will need to be protected, create various types of work agreements for your learning organization, develop a system to maintain records of your intellectual property, build a business plan that will promote data-driven tutoring success, describe the federal laws that impact your tutoring business, implement quality assurance meetings, create an online project management system for your content team, implementing focus groups and market research, disseminating your research for your learning organization, acquire know-how for licensing your intellectual property, and dozens of other strategies you will need to protect your intellectual property. Take a strategic approach to protecting your intellectual property so that you can build a household name in the tutoring industry. You can get your copy of Expand Your Tutoring Business Volume 3, The Blueprint for Protecting Your Learning Organization, on Amazon.com or submit your book order at orders at iglobaleducation.com. We're back on the Tutor Outreach Radio Show with Dr. Elise. While we were on break, I intuitively selected postcards from the spirit using the Colette Baron Reed system. Let me just share them with you. The first message that came in, guys, is dearest you, going the extra mile to achieve your dreams and putting in some overtime will reap big rewards. Now is the time for you to act, to stir up some energy and put those plans into action. There are many windows of opportunity that open, but close quickly when you don't take the risk and go for it. Today, be confident that your hard work will pay off and you will feel that satisfaction and fulfillment of reaching your desired outcome. It might turn out even better than you expected. Isn't that amazing? Remember, however much work you're willing to put in, we will match it tenfold on our end. Everyone over here is rooting for you to win the game of life. So just do it. Loving you so, so much. Guys, that is a powerful message. Everybody is born here on this earth for a purpose. It is you owe it to yourself. It is your divine birthright to know who you are and why you're here. Something that is really on my heart, especially in the education industry, is for people to understand that, you know, we all set out to become merchant of hope to others. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you may be tied to the classroom, but you may have an opportunity to lead a school. You may have an opportunity to feed the children. You may have an opportunity to, you know, take care of the school building. Whatever your role is, whether it is staff or employee, it doesn't matter, guys. You have a purpose. You have a role. You are a merchant of hope to others, and people are watching you. When you look at people, when you interact with others, you are speaking life into others. So when this message came through, it's important for you to understand that. That job is for you to inspire and help other people with their dreams. But what I often find is that many individuals, they forget their own dream. And that's not what it's about. It's about you having the courage to move forward and achieve your own dream. Now, if your own dream is to do what you are currently doing, then that's okay. But understand that there's something that's called growth. And you may find yourself in a different area. You may find yourself wanting to explore something different, and that is completely okay. If you're not changing, if you're not moving forward, if you're not growing, then that's a problem. Because we're here on earth is a big university within itself. 
We're here to teach people. We're here to learn from people. Learning is a two-way street, guys. So, you know, this is a very deep message for you to really focus on your own life plan, your own dreams, your own goals, and stick to them. If it means that you get off track a year or two, that's okay. You got to be gentle with yourself. But at the same time, you got to be honest with yourself on whether you're meeting your goals, whether you are following your dreams. Second message that came in, the serious Jew. On earth, humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself in the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else can be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine? Spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation. So tell the one we know to be true about you, a story of courage, gratitude, and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom, and grace. You will experience your world according to the story you tell about it, so make sure your stories you're proud of genuine love fan club guys this second message here just reinforces what i said earlier you know you are merchants of hope you are here to inspire you know not only our future but our, but your colleagues your family your friends and you don't want to tell them a story that's doom and gloom you don't want to have a story full of negativity that's not why you're here if you're finding yourself saying negative things or you're telling yourself a negative narrative then it's time to look in the mirror it's time for you to really write down all the things that you have been blessed with it's the simple things in life that matters When I was in the classroom, guys, I learned that students don't really care about what you know. They don't care about your degrees on the wall. All they care about is knowing whether you care, knowing whether you're honest, you're willing to share wisdom and teach them the things that they need to know. Those are things that do not cost any money, guys. Those are things that do not cost any money. You think about the merchant of hopes that came throughout your life and tell me, write it down. What type of story did you tell others about? Was it an empowered story or was it a victim story? I just want to leave that with you guys. You know, you have a divine life purpose you got to trust the signs and your inner guidance so that you can be led to fulfillment. Now, some other things that came in, other spiritual messages and intuitive messages that came in, guys, is the life lessons that you're going through. Know that you can break free from a recurring negative pattern by praying to know the lesson and the blessing in which they contain. Three numbers came up. I was in meditation, and those numbers are the number three, which deals with creativity, the number eight, which deals with manifestation, and the number 11, which deals with individuality. Guys, when I see this together, you are creative. You are a manifester. You are unique and wonderfully and beautifully made. You don't have to worry about people stealing your ideas because you're made to continue to create. Now, you do need to protect your idea. (laughs) 
Thankfully, we have laws for that. But the point is, guys, there's a lot of room here to serve humanity. There's no need for competition. There's no need for competition. When you are operating in your divine life purpose, you're connected to your intuition, you're going to have an unlimited amount of creativity, an unlimited amount of energy to manifest, as well as be comfortable in who it is that you are as a person. And show up and be that leader. Everybody is a leader. If you're not in a leadership role, that's okay. Because people are watching you. People are watching you lead your life. People are watching you lead your classroom. People are watching you lead if you are a administrator or some other type of learning organizational leader. If you're a leader in the community, when a leader in the home, whether you are a father or a mother or brother or sister, just a family member. So I strongly encourage you to really look at your divine life purpose and get clear on why you're here, why you're serving. If you would like to work with me, Dr. Holland, you can go to my Tutoring Masterminds website. That's www.tutoringmastermind.com. Or find us on Facebook at the Tutor Outreach Group. I hope to see you at one of our upcoming tutoring conferences this year. I will be at the Phoenix Tutoring Conference on October 25th and 26th here in Phoenix. If you have any tutoring questions, then join us in one of our Facebook groups. And you can find that information at our Facebook page, the Tutor Outreach Group. We love having active group members. You know, in all of our groups, we encourage collaboration. You know, we're in this together, and there's no room for competition. There's no room for that. Why? The universe is abundant, guys. You just got to find out what your purpose is and how you're going to contribute to society. I want to thank you all for tuning in to the Tutor Outreach Radio Show. I had a wonderful time with our special guest, Mrs. Letitia Jordan. If you know of anyone who is interested in expanding their tutoring business in math or any other subject, then you definitely share out this episode Please join me every fourth Tuesday of the month at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Next month on the Tutor Outreach Radio Show, we will have a special guest talking about online safety and personal safety and how, you know, we really need to put some things in place so that we can help keep our students, our faculty, and other Um, learning organizational members safe. Come join us as we found out more information with Dr. Ken, who will be our guest. This is another episode that you don't want to miss. Leave us some comments and stay tuned, guys. Be sure to subscribe to our radio show so that you can stay updated. Have a great week, and I'll see you back here next time. Remember, you are loved. You are valued and you are competent. You've been listening to the Tutor Outreach Radio Show, hosted by Dr. Alicia Alice Holland. This hit show comes to you live every second and fourth Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on Blog Talk Radio. Each show is empowering you to move forward with your tutoring goals to manifest your dreams of building a successful tutoring practice. If you've missed any part of this show or want to find out more about Dr. Holland, visit thetutoroutreach.com. That's thetutoroutreach.com.
At Bell Ford, we love October because it's an entire month dedicated to Ford trucks. And the Ford truck giant has you covered. It's the October Truck Fest with hundreds of F-150s with 0% financing for 72 months and up to 4000 cash back. Or get triple rebates on all new Ford Super Duty trucks. Plus, you can save 25% off all Fusions and Focuses and 20% off all Escapes. Only at Bell Ford, Arizona's Ford giant at I-17 in Bell Road and bellford.com. As a busy weatherman, people rely on me for up-to-the-minute weather reporting, which means I need energy to keep me going throughout my day. Well, right now, you can get two Dunkin' Bacon, Egg, and Cheese sandwiches for $5. Well, in that case, the forecast calls for rain, sun, partly cloudy, high, low, scattered, isolated, umbrella jacket, flip-flops with 100% chance of looking up on the Internet. I've got sandwiches to eat. Humidity, dew point. Get two Dunkin' Bacon, Egg, and Cheese sandwiches for $5. America runs on Dunkin'. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Exclusions apply.